Hi, this is Bill Van Lu. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Hopscotch Beta for the iPad. Hopscotch is a fun new app that allows you to make interactive stories and games and animations. So let's start up Hopscotch. When you first start up Hopscotch, it'll show you what projects already exist. There's a demo project, and if someone's already used it before, there may be some other projects there as well. We're going to tap New Project to get started. When I start a new project in Hopscotch, you'll see that the plus button up in the top left is kind of jumping around trying to get you to tap on it. So let's do that. Let's tap plus. One place that Hopscotch is different from other graphical interfaces like Scratch that allow you to drag things around and make stories and interactive games is that Hopscotch doesn't give you the ability to make your own characters right now. You have to use the ones that come built in for right now. So there are 10 characters that it gives you and there's also a text box that you can type stuff into. So for now, let's tap on the purple gorilla to get started. When you first put him on the screen, it asks you to give the gorilla a new rule. And rules in Hopscotch are sort of like scripts in Scratch. They tell the characters what things they can do. So let's tap the plus sign to give the gorilla a new rule. Let's say that when the gorilla is tapped down here towards the bottom, the gorilla should do something. And it calls those things abilities. So we're going to create a new ability for the gorilla. Right now it starts off being untitled. And the first thing you do to create an ability is to start dragging blocks out, similar to what you would do in Scratch. So let's hit Add Block. As you can see, there's a whole list of different things that you can do. So I think what would be fun is to have the gorilla grow when you tap him. And we could say grow by 200% to make him pretty big. So we'll tap 200 and hit the checkbox. And then we can hit play to see what that will look like. That looks great. I still would like to keep going though. So I'm also going to make him shrink after we've made him grow. So let's have him shrink by 75. And we can hit play again. Now what happens is he sort of flashes because we didn't wait any time in there. So if I come up some and look at control flow, I can stick a wait block in there in between those things. Now the amount of time in hopscotch is in milliseconds, which is a thousandth of a second. So I would need to wait 1000 milliseconds for it to wait one second. Instead of that, I think I'll do 500 milliseconds. which would be half a second. So let's hit play to preview that. So now every time I tap the gorilla, it will grow, wait for half a second, and shrink. I think half a second's a little too, sh too long, so I'm gonna make that shorter. Let's try it one more time. That looks pretty fun. I can hit uh, stop, and I can also tap on where it says untitled ability to give this a name. Let's call it grow shrink and tap done. What I'm going to do now is hit the checkbox to tell this that I'm done with this ability. So now what it says is when the gorilla is tapped it will grow shrink. So let's try it. I'll tap start up in the corner here and now when I tap the gorilla every time I tap him he grows shrinks. Now if I want to keep adding stuff I can tap edit. We can also see once we've added our new grow shrink ability that we can add more rules and one of the things that's really cool about hopscotch is that it gives you some rules that are really specific to the ipad things like when the ipad is tilted or when it's tapped or even when the ipad detects a loud noise so we could go ahead and keep adding those things i'm going to leave that for you to do so i hope you have fun exploring the new hopscotch for ipad